Concorde did not just fly fast. It flew faster than the Earth's rotation. In 1976, it could outrun the sunset, crossing from London to New York in three and a half hours. Cruising at Mach 2.04, 1,354 miles per hour, Concorde sliced through the stratosphere twice as fast as sound. The frictional heat was so intense that its aluminium skin expanded by 10 inches mid-flight. Engineers had to build expansion gaps into the fuselage just so it would not buckle under its own speed. Even the cockpit was not spared. At full cruise, the glass and metal panels became so warm that pilots joked they could heat their meals by resting them on a section of the window ledge. It was not an exaggeration. The cabin temperature reached 127 degrees Celsius at the nose during sustained supersonic flight. It was a masterpiece of engineering and a nightmare of physics. Every bolt, seam and rivet had to tolerate constant expansion and contraction as the jet grew and shrank between Mach 2 flight and subsonic descent. Concorde did not just fly through air, it fought against the limits of materials themselves, so next time someone calls it a relic, remember? This aircraft literally stretched in flight and still beat time itself across the Atlantic. It was speed, science and elegance fused into one machine still. Would you bring Concorde back or let it rest as aviation's untouchable legend?